Sometimes you just gotta get that right angle in there. All right, what is going on my homies? It is your boy Fixie here today and we are back and in today's video, I'd like to address a message to the city of Kamloops. So there's a, there's been a little bit on my mind recently and there's a lot that I wanna show to back up what has been on my mind. And all on my mind is the fact of, well, you know what, no. I'm gonna actually take you guys and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, we're gonna kinda make a video out of it, make a day of it. Hope you guys enjoy, I'm gonna meet up with my friend and uh, and we're gonna head out. So guys, we are here down in the area that I was talking about and we have met up with my friend. We are now gonna be going through the forest and showing off what it has to offer. And you know what? We saw something a little bit earlier. We already have some good stuff coming. How about that, you know? Let's, some poopy toilet paper. Got a love that. Say hi. Hi. But the place that we're like kind of going around about, it's just down a trail and it's a public area in Kamloops. And you know, a lot of people used to use it as a trail, place to walk their dogs, all that kind of stuff. And now it's just, it's treated as a homeless area and it's never cleaned up. And it's kind of a danger, not gonna lie, because people still come here to go use the beach. Okay, so there is the first sign of a needle. You see that orange thing on the ground? That is the cap of one, so clearly there is going to be some stuff around, so that's what I mean. When you're going through the trail, this is the river trail that the city put up, and uh, you find it like this, and there's like a big styrofoam mattress here, okay. Well, not styrofoam, but foamy. So that's great, you know, here it's a pretty nice place to sleep, don't you think, you know? Don't, don't you agree? Isn't it a nice little apartment? I'm gonna have a little good time. You, right oh there. yeah, there's the there's the other thing of the needle. Now you actually have to find the needle itself. I see somebody had a really good night shooting up heroin on this. Darn, I'm sure jealous of them. It's awesome down here, isn't it, Carlos? Dude, we're gonna like run into like a group of junkies. What if like all of the homeless people actually had like a colony down here? And they all just like climbed in the they trees? They all go underground yeah. afterwards. Yeah, they have like this underground <laughs> network. <laughs> we have come across another quite interesting trail to uh interesting adventure all right so first thing we see down here some caution tape that doesn't uh shake me up at all so right there we got some uh poopy tissue again that's all good oh there's another needle cap right there on the ground so nobody is here but it seems that the trail that we ended up going down on happens to have a whole bunch of needles and all of this just awful stuff spread out like nothing hey oh yeah you saw that too. A little bit of bump. So clearly, you know, people are living in here, shooting up, doing puzzles <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> you know, they're just, they're going hard at it. They're going hard in the paint. You got them like a little, is that a medical cannabis card? I think it is. That's a loyalty card. What is that? You know how in Starbucks, you know how you go to McDonald's and you get the little card on the side and you put the sticker on and get seven coffees to get the next one free 200 bucks a weed and you get the next 20 bag free free 20 bag only at Canadians safe cannabis servers so I think that's their home um, so we found a bunch of drug shit so that's uh, that's beautiful you know down the one trail that uh, we wanted to go to to go on the beach right Carlos we wanted to have a beach day. Beach day. We're a happy family with a bunch of kids and a dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that was our first home. And that is just the start too. Seriously beautiful trails we have out here in Kamloops, I'm telling you. You know, I love walking on trails and seeing whatever comes being presented with the beauty of nature. I love it. Oh shit, this place is cleared out. So clearly people are living here. There's no way that there isn't people living here because... I mean, clearly, this is like, this is a dugout home center. What are those? <laughs> Seashells. Ah, I mean, okay. At least they, uh, at least the crackheads are putting up, uh, you know, decoration and stuff. They're making this forest better already. Oh yeah. So there's a dog in here now. He's chilling. You know, it's normal, oh, right? Bye bye doggy. Bye bye Doge. Clearly, at one point, there's a tent set up here. Hmm, that's nice. You know, finding tent parts. So that's more proof that people are down here, and well, you know, when they shouldn't be, right? Got a bylaw violation. Okay, so someone is clearly skipping out on their bylaw violations. There's a dog again. There is a dog. dog. Hey, that dog could be in danger of a and needle. They yeah. got a warning for temporary shelter. For hey, temporary shelter. There we that's go. That's what we got. That is some solid evidence right there, actually. So right there, there is a place of proof that he was sleeping in a place where he shouldn't name, be. Man. And uh, yeah, there's oh, tent stuff oh. there. So there's the end of that mystery. And no, what did we find? What? Here from talk to you later, Brad. Oh, 
Poor Talk Brad. To you later, Brad. Oh, I, Brad. Brad. Your no. GF just ditched. Dude, no. Brad. They turned him into the dog. a dog. <laughs> you turned Brad into a dog. <laughs> that dog has balls, man. Oh, that was a note from Brad because he was turning into a dog and he's like, peace out, homie. Yeah, it used to be all cleared out and stuff. Everybody would like come here for walks and bike rides and all of that. Like, I remember that. Maybe six or seven years old, you know. Living in Kamloops your whole life, like, doesn't that kind of bother you? Like, yep. you live here and out here is a whole bunch of crap from people who are, well, honestly dangerous. So in here, very clearly, people are living. There we go. Full, they got some stuff. Intact. There is a full, full needle right there. Full intact, so this is a problem in Kamloops. This is something that needs to be dealt with in some sort of way because keeping our city like this, it's unacceptable. And lately in Kamloops, we've been trying to enforce like some really stupid bylaws such as no swearing per se. You can actually get charged for swearing on the streets apparently, or they were trying to get that across. And um, you know, I just don't understand why that is such an issue when I think this is lying here untouched and uh, you know, not looked after. So that's just something I wanna say. Because as you can see right ahead, there is a really nice beach right by the river where families actually do go and just, they have to walk through this shit to actually get to the beach. And if you tell me, that almost looks like a weapon to me, you know, has a pike, it's it's cut up and all, then that too. What could that be used for? I don't what know, could not this a be useful, man? Lucerin mini suckets? Dude, they're getting the mini suckets? Mini suck. Come on, oh my God, this is terrible. So I think I've pretty much said everything that I could have already, so, that is my point exact. I thought I'd show you guys this in the city of Kamloops. If you're watching this, just, you should rethink your priorities a little. But anyways, guys, this can be everything for today. This is disgusting. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And if you live locally, tag the city of Kamloops. That would help out. But anyways, as usual, I guess have a fantastic day. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, chat me up a little when you guys talk to me. And uh, does Carlos want to say goodbye? Make sure you follow Count on my crush.